Hi, I'm Casey from Bradford Church, and this is day 12 of the 40 Days of Abundance. Today's verse is found in Hebrews chapter 12, verses 5 to 6, where it says, My son, do not regard lightly the discipline of the Lord, nor be weary when reproved by him. For the Lord disciplines the one he loves and chastises every son whom he receives. You can probably recall a time in your own childhood when your response to parental discipline was anything but helpful. You saw you argued, you raged. The result? The good purpose of your parents' discipline in your life did not materialize. Friends, the Lord's chastening is serious. We must not take it lightly and brush it off as if it is nothing. We might be tempted to count on the fact that God is merciful and forgiving, but that's exactly the kind of attitude that will get us in trouble. Never abuse God's goodness and mercy. When God disciplines us, we, as, we also mustn't feel discouraged. As someone with a fragile soul, wherever or whenever I would get scolded or rebuked, I tend to take it to heart. When that happens, I usually find myself spiraling down um, a mentality of how I'm not good enough and how I'll never do anything right, no matter how hard I try. Then I end up not wanting to do anything at all because my thought process is telling me that it's no use trying. When God is disciplining us, He doesn't want us to stop trying, but He wants us to do better. Finally, we must be careful lest any root of bitterness come up and cause trouble. Many people have left the ministry because of this, um, because of this bitterness. They get, in, they get it into their minds that God doesn't love them anymore or that they felt that their punishment was too harsh and convinced, that, um, convinced themselves that God has abandoned them completely. It's hard to encourage these people or to convince them to come back because the only person who can help them is themselves. They have to realize for themselves that God was only trying to teach them a lesson and that they must learn it the hard way. If you know anyone who's in a similar situation, don't give up on them either and continue to pray for them. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for the word. We thank you, Lord, for the reminder. We thank you, Lord, for helping us understand, God, that you are not just the God of love, but also you're the God of justice, Lord. Um, as followers, Lord, we need to be disciplined sometimes, God, so that we can follow the walk, Lord. So, Lord, give us a humble heart to obey you in our walk, Lord, and help us, Lord, understand that it's not an easy walk also, Lord. Help us to depend on you, not on our own strength, God, but in you solely, Lord. So, God, as we also disciple others, share the gospel, allow us to have a heart, Lord, um, our patience, Lord, and also... Just to be passionate, Lord, in sharing the gospel, allowing others, Lord, to um, find the love that we have experienced in you and also find the peace that only you can provide. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to our daily devotion. See you tomorrow.